So here is the Rawls law as a special case of Henry's law. So according to Rawls law, the vapor pressure of a volatile compound in a given solution is given by Pi is equal to Xi. This is Xi. It's coming down. Subscript Pi zero. You are able to see the pure solution with the solvent, and this is pure solution. In the solution of a gas in a liquid, one of the compound is so volatile that it exists as a gas, and we have already seen that its solubility is given by Henry's law, which states that P is equal to K H into X. Here is a small typical 3D of how the Henry's law are. Now I got the gas or any matter once it is there. You are able to see the molecules are moving randomly. Now I am trying to increase the pressure or reducing the volume. Automatically the movement is greatly reduced and the volume is greatly reduced. So here is the Henry's law Cg is equal to K into P Pg. If you compare the equation of Rawls law and Henry's law, it can be seen that the partial pressure of the volatile component or gas is directly proportional to mole fraction in solution. Only the proportionality constant K H differs from P10. Thus, Rawls law becomes a special case of Henry's law in which K H becomes equal to P10.